Hi, I'm Dr. Linda, and this is A Wise Woman. I have a question for you today. Do you have anything that belonged to um, a relative that has since died? Something from a parent or a grandparent, an aunt or an uncle? Behind me, there are a couple of things on this um, buffet that belong to my grandmother. And as a matter of fact, the buffet belonged to my grandmother. The table that I'm sitting at belonged to my grandmother. My grandmother was monumentally important in my life. She was a great woman of God. And I, I can't tell you the impact that she had on my life. And as I look around my house, and, and my house is filled, literally filled with things that were, they were my grandmother's. And some of the things that I, I got before she passed away, she was moving, she was downsizing to a smaller house and she had all this stuff. And I remember she was going to give it to Goodwill and I happened to be up there in, in Indiana and I was like, oh no, 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 don't give it to Goodwill. And we had to get a trailer to take everything home from my, from my grandmother's house. And I just cherished it. And then when she passed away, I got so many more things. These things, I look, I look at them, and I know exactly what she did with them. I, I can see her using the utensils. I can see her using the potato masher, using the rolling pin, using the buffet behind me. And we always sit at this table for every important family meal. And so today, my question for you is, what are you passing down to your children and your grandchildren spiritually. You see, my grandmother gave me a double-edged sword. Not only did she pass down so many things physically, but spiritually, this was a woman that um, the week she died, right before her 91st birthday, she taught Sunday school, she went to Bible study, she did so many things, she didn't miss church, but see, that's not what she left me. That, that's part of what she left me. Her diligence in, in, and her commitment to her church. But she left me her diligence and her commitment to God. And no matter what happened in my life, she sweetly and softly gave me word. And I didn't realize it. I, I just, I took it for granted that my mom, my grandmother was so, she, that was just who she was. It wasn't until after she was gone that I thought, oh my gosh, she's the most godly woman I've ever met in my life. But it was just her. And so my question for you, and it's a short question, what are you leaving your children that's spiritual? I'm not asking what are you leaving them money or, or things. Things can be burned up, things can be misplaced, things can be broken. But spiritually, nobody can take a spiritual gift from you. Are you leaving your children a habit to read the word? Are you pointing them every time to the word? Are you leaving your children a habit of praying? Praying does not save you. Reading the word does not save you. But they're all disciplines that grow you up in the spirit, that lead you into a, a more mature Christian life? Are you leaving them the habit of going to church where they can fellowship with people of like faith? Are you leaving them the habit of hearing you talk kind about people, sweetly? Are you leaving them the habit of seeing how you, a wise woman, speak softly to your husband? See, these are legacies. There are things we're not thinking about. Oh, what am I passing on to my children? Am I screaming and, and carrying on and this is what they're going to carry with them? Or am I softly and tenderly leading them to the feet of the Father? It's an important question. I want you to think about it today. What spiritual 
legacy are you leaving those behind you? If you haven't accumulated any, start now. If you have a few, but you know it's a little shaky, polish it up. Because I love everything I have of my grandmother's. But I love more the fact that she turned me every time to Jesus. That she loved him with all her heart. She never said a bad word about anybody. She was a role model of all role models. She was not perfect. Please, I know. But none of us are. And so, it's not the things that I see. It's the things that I have here that she taught me. Her legacy will continue because I teach it to my children and my grandchildren. I teach it to those I teach at church, at school. What's your legacy? Let's pray. Father, Lord God, I pray for every woman that's hearing my voice, that you, Lord God, would be with them and that you would bless them and that you would keep them, Lord God. And Lord, that you would give them the wisdom to know that a legacy far outshines anything we can leave in fleshly bounds. Lord, bless them, Lord God. Let them sharpen those skills, Father God, to listen to you. And Lord, I thank you for the legacy of my grandmother. And I bless these women today, and I give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen.